Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Strathmore Watercolor Sketchbook. This is the 400 series watercolor sketchbook and it has 300 GSM, 48 pages, and it is the landscape one. This is basically A5 size. It has really, really nice and thick paper. So, I bought this sketchbook to use with oil paints because I've been really getting into trying oil painting and I really want to start doing that. I bought everything necessary to start oil painting and I wanted to do it in a sketchbook because it's going to allow me to be a bit more free and not waste a lot of money on supplies and I wanted to give it a try. And the best way to do that is to use a really thick paper and prime it and then go in with oils but before i get into the oil painting i want to do a test run in the first page of the sketchbook with every single art supply i own the idea is to review the sketchbook and have a better comprehension of what the sketchbook is really suited for obviously watercolor and gouache is going to work really well with this probably inks but i want to see every single medium it does have quite a bit of tooth in the paper and i want to see how every medium will work on this paper. Now, the way I'm going to be doing this video is a bit different from my other reviews since usually when I review sketchbook it's after using it completely through and through. This time I'm going to be doing the first page and reviewing it whilst I use the mediums. So I'm going to go through every single medium and give you guys my opinion and in the end we'll be back here and we will see which mediums I like best and I'll do like a little summary of what I thought. Now I'm really curious to see how this is going to work out. Um, I can't wait to start painting this and that's exactly what I'm going to do next. So let's jump into the process of this review. So before I start talking about what I thought about mechanical pencils in this paper, I want to explain what I'm doing so you can understand the context of this whole painting. Um, I'm drawing a scene of like how it would look like if I was painting with oils. Since this is going to be an oil painting sketchbook, I decided to start by drawing my desk and my window and have all the oil supplies out and as if I were painting. A palette brushes paints everything and just created a little scene inspired by my room and my own setup so that's what you're going to be seeing i also added my family cat kiku um to the scene because he usually hangs out in my room and he just stays in the windowsill so i decided to add him as well and that's what we're going to be painting today but going into mechanical pencils in this paper so as you can imagine, watercolor paper has a lot of texture, and I think texture here is going to be very important in this sense, um, because it, it when it comes to pencils, having a textured paper allows you to not have, like, it won't allow you to have a smooth line, you know, really straight lines and everything, so you have to, you know, work with, with the texture, and, you know, it, it can be good. <laughs> Or if it's something that you want to incorporate into your piece but it can also be something that really bothers the process and to me it's kind of in between that I don't mind it too much but it's not as pleasurable as it would be with just non textured paper even if you try to do a light line it will always be you know thicker and a lot more bold than you'd initially anticipate and so then you have to keep erasing and erasing so it's just it's a bit of a struggle it's not the best paper for sketching with mechanical pencils but i i mean that's kind of you know expectable even though like for me i always use like a sketch underneath my paintings so this is something that's very important when it comes to like doing any watercolor paintings i need to be able to sketch and everything so if it can be a smooth ride then that would be ideal but you can definitely erase pretty well with this paper without damaging the paper which is very important
Moving on to the actual watercolor painting, I think this is the main thing of this paper, right, and of this review. Since this paper is meant to be for oil paint, for watercolors, this is the main thing, right, the, the main star of the show today. And I gotta say I really liked how watercolor reacted to this paper. I was able to do a lot of techniques, wet on wet, you know, wet on dry. I was able to do so many different textures and techniques with this. And I feel like even though the paper is absorbent, it's not too absorbent. So you do have time to do those things, right? You do have time to work wet on wet. Some papers suck up the water too fast. And in this case, it was pretty nice. Mind you, it was also really hot that day. I had a, a fan on the entire time and I was still able to really paint and work with the watercolors as I wanted to. So I think that's really good when you're trying to paint with watercolors. Another thing that I really liked about this paper, and I only realized this towards the end, and I'll mention it later on as well. The paper doesn't mute down your watercolors which a lot of papers once the watercolor dries it becomes really chalky and i know this can also be because of the watercolors mind you but i always use this set I, I don't have a bunch of different sets of watercolors this is the only set i have so i've seen this set look really badly in certain papers so i think it's very positive that it look looks so good in this paper Moving on to gouache, um, I think these paints worked really well, which was to be expected. This is watercolor paper, and they work pretty well. Um, I don't have much to say about gouache. Um, I think it worked really well. The only thing I don't like as much is the effects that the textured paper has on the paint. You will always have that texture and you have to work around that texture, and I like, like I said, earlier i like really non-textured paper so or if the texture if it has texture it has to be really really fine texture so this kind of bothered me during the process but i do think this is kind of more of a personal preference than an actual like fault of the paper it's just my personal preference and maybe for you this is what you like so in that case go for it i'm just really really used to using gouache in really fine like smooth smooth paper so for me it was a bit of a change and a bit of a challenge but otherwise i think the gouache look worked pretty well i was able to do a lot of things with it and i think it's a pretty nice paper for gouache So later on in this process I decided to use some acrylics. Now I don't have much to say of acrylics, as you will probably imagine acrylics work really well in most papers, so I don't have anything to point out, I don't have anything to say. Um, they worked nice, they were able to, you know, put in the paper texture also again is something to have an account but again it depends on your personal preference both posca pens and acrylics from the two work really well posca pens took a little longer to dry than the acrylic tubes but they work pretty well both of them and i really like how they look it's not surprising to be honest it's acrylic paint it works on every single surface it's not very surprising but it was nice to test it out nonetheless up this piece i went in with some fine liners and some colored pencils now i'll be going first through what i thought about the fine liners i think they they work okay they work but the, again <laughs> we have to always take into account the texture and it does it doesn't allow you to have a really straight clean line this can be good or this can be bad depending on your preference 
to me it's something that you have to have in consideration when making a piece right you have to have this in consideration and if you blend it into the the painting style i think it can work but the lines are really jiggly because of the texture the same applies with pencils you don't get a smooth coloring process with the pencils but it looks nice right and if you can work that texture into your style it will look really really nice so it really depends on your personal preference so have that in consideration when working with pencils in this paper. So by now you've kind of got an idea of what I think about this sketchbook and how each medium went individually. So now I want to give you kind of an overall of what I think the sketchbook is pretty good for. I think the sketchbook is awesome if you want to do anything related to watercolor and gouache work as it was intended this is not surprising but reality is some watercolor sketchbooks aren't that great i had a lot of fun with this one i was able to mix and do layers and use techniques in this sketchbook throughout this process and they ended up looking amazing we can see that in the windows we can see that on the table it looks really nice and i wanted the walls to look streaky and i got that effect as well so i do think that this sketchbook is pretty good for watercolors if it works for watercolors, watercolors it usually works for gouache as well and i did enjoy the process with gouache now one thing that i will say that i enjoy with gouache that I didn't get with the sketchbook is smoothness. It's not the most textured sketchbook I've ever had, but it is pretty textured and I like really smooth gouache and I like really smooth paper when I'm using gouache. It's just a personal preference, it's just something I prefer and I would rather have a paper with a lot less tooth than this paper has. That's a personal preference. It The same applies for watercolor, but it is usable with watercolor. I don't think the texture bothers me with watercolors, but it definitely does bother me when it comes to gouache. Speaking of texture, a medium that really does not work at all is pencils. So if you want to use colored pencils in this for, to add final details, it is possible. Just have an account the texture that it's going to have because it is going to be extremely textured. If you want to work only with pencils, this is not the book for you. Forget about it. If you're more of a like mixed media person and you like to do washes of watercolor and then finish everything off with pencils, it's probably not going to be the greatest one. I would definitely go for a sketchbook with a finer tooth with barely any texture. I think that would be more appropriate. Same thing applies to pens. Like texture is everything and it is very important in watercolor papers and it is what gives like touch to your watercolor paintings but when it comes to traditional medium it is what affects what you use the most on a day-to-day -day basis pens you can also you also have to deal with the texture when it comes to pens and you won't be able to do a really straight line if that's kind of what you like again this is also a pro not only a con because you can add this to your painting and it can be an add-on to your painting process and again and it can give texture and personality to your painting so it really depends on how you're going to use it and what your personal preference is overall i think it's an amazing amazing paper um it handled acrylic pretty well which let's be let's face it everything does but i think overall every single medium i used looks great uh the paper handled everything well it is a little bit you know bangled but not too much it's still pretty straight and one thing it does that i love is the fact that the colors look vibrant and this might seem silly but not every book does this a lot of sketchbooks will kind of mute down and chalk down your watercolors and this one they look brilliant they look really vibrant they look really nice um they don't look chalky at all and I really enjoy the look of watercolors on this paper. Like I said, if there was a finer grain, I definitely would do an only watercolor sketchbook. But this is a really nice sketchbook. If you're working with watercolors and washes, I think it looks amazing and inks will probably work just as well. So overall, I'd say this is a pretty good sketchbook. I like it a lot and it, I think it's a sketchbook where you'll be able to be really creative and paint and just experiment with watercolors and gouache and all the other mediums that you feel free to use while using the sketchbook. I really can't stop looking at this because this looks really vibrant and colorful and even though it's not exactly how I wanted it to be, it looks really nice. 
and the vibrancy really makes me question if I really want to use this for oils. Obviously I am going to use it for oils, but it does make me question if that's something I really want to do because the, the watercolors look so vibrant and beautiful and obviously this has to do also with the watercolors that you have, but the paper sometimes mutes down your watercolors and they look really vibrant, really beautiful and I just... I just enjoy it a lot and I think it's a pretty nice outcome and I think it's definitely a sketchbook that is worth it for you to get. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review video and that this was exciting for all of you and if you're considering getting the sketchbook, I hope it answered your questions and doubts and you know anything about the sketchbook. If you want to know more about the sketchbook, if you have anything you would want me to tell you that I didn't mention in this video, please leave the question down below, I'll make sure to answer it and uh, yeah. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,